We have an update today on a local 10 investigation. We first told you earlier this year about a public corruption case involving drugs being smuggled into Miami-Dade County jails. And now several arrests have been made. A local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia reports from outside the jail in West Miami-Dade. We're learning more about the four people arrested and their roles in this scheme to get drugs inside the jail. We've also received the indictment that explains it all. Three of these people arrested in Miami-Dade County, one in Virginia. In early March, Local 10 uncovered a current public corruption investigation involving drugs being smuggled into Miami-Dade jails by a ring of people, including corrections officers. Thursday, arrests in this case were made. The first, Diego Loesia. Our cameras rolling as Miami-Dade police detectives escorted him into a police cruiser. He appeared in federal court the same day. The U.S. Attorney's Office says he's accused of supplying the drugs to corrections officers so they could sell them to inmates. The second arrest, Noland Frazier, a now former corrections officer who is also allegedly involved. He also appeared in federal court Thursday. The other two, Kenyatta Sears, arrested in Virginia, and Joseph Peeler, incarcerated at the pretrial detention center. The indictment tells us Sears and Peeler are accused of paying Frazier to use his position to smuggle in contraband that Peeler purchased from Loasia. Local 10 also told you about several people who died inside the jail due to drugs. He said that my son had enough fentanyl in his system to kill 20 people. We then asked the jail about people who overdosed while in custody but survived because of Narcan. Miami-Dade Corrections tells me the overdose reversing drug was administered at least 25 times in 2022 alone. Whether or not these overdoses and deaths are connected to this investigation and these arrests is still unclear. And we also know that this investigation is not over. In Miami, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.